was like, oh, okay. They're so good. Rich. That's what I thought. What up, it's your girl, Mena, and in this video, we are talking all about my bath and body faves, empties, items that I'm using, loving the whole nine yards, because it's important that we're taking care of the body just like we are the face. So this video is not necessarily about skincare. It's more about the body, okay? So if you're excited about the video, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, join my text community because it's free and you should be a part of it. Also make sure that you comment at any point if you've tried any of these products. All links are gonna be down below. Make sure you look at the box and take a look at the products that you might have interest in. I'm also gonna link this here for you because I know you want to ask. All right, all right, let's just go. Oh, and this look is in a video, testing new products. Make sure you look at that video if you wanna know what I got on my face. Now, first thing we need to talk about when it comes to the bath and the body, baby, is this robe. It's given luxury, honey. I love this robe so much. It is so soft, it is so plush, it is so luxurious. It is a robe for me for special occasions. Like every now and again, I put her on. Like I have my day-to-day -day robes, but this ain't gonna be every day. It's very heavy, okay? If you live in a cooler climate area, this is perfect because it is heavy, okay? It's plush, it feels feels good. It is like the softest towel material you could ever think of. It is plush, okay? If you follow Tiff Benson either here or on YouTube, then you've seen her wear it. She sold me on this. She actually was featuring it in her stories one time and then she did a sponsorship with it and I was like, boop, add to cart, need it, and bought it and love it. Like, love, 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 love. You need this robe if you want something heavy, luxurious. I think this is an XL because I wanted it to be oversized. Just amazingness. It feels so good. You need this robe for the fall and just like ever like in life okay it is that good all right now let's talk hair i have these hair wrap towels if you've seen me do my hair in either my youtube videos or an igtv then you've seen me use these i have a whole bunch like i have a lot of these these are perfect because you just wrap your hair you've seen them before you can't tell me you have not seen this before, okay? Cause back in the day we would use our body towel on our hair, it's a no. I know some people use t-shirts, I don't do that. I just, I need the water to be absorbed, but for it not to break my hair. So this is the happy medium to just get that done. So tie it on the hair, hook this to the back. It's just, it's just a no brainer and it fits a lot of hair. I love these, I have so many of them. I'll link it below because it's just one of those things that you just need to have. And I like white, if it's not already obvious, it just goes with the brand, you know what I'm saying? I love these, I'm gonna link them cause it's a must. Okay, so another towel type item is this, what do you call this? I don't know, it just goes around the body. So obviously it opens, right? And it's a towel, it goes around the body. It's got Velcro, as you heard. It also has pockets, which is so funny. So if you wanna put your phone in there, you gotta walk on the house, do something, there you go with your pocket. Love this because it's just a cute way to feel like you're in a hotel, but actually in your own house. And then you can have this on while you're doing your skincare routine or doing your hair or whatever, just in transition somehow. I don't dry my body with this because like, no, I use white towels, but then this is cute to just put on either before or after the shower for sure. Did it come in a two pack? I can't recall. I have two of these. So I can't recall if it was a two pack or one pack, but definitely an awesome item to have because you know how you might put a towel around you and then the towel be falling down. Who has time for all of that? Like that's mad annoying. This, this is not gonna go anywhere, okay? And I believe it's a one size product and it has a hook. So if you have hooks next to your shower, you can hook this to it and I suppose put it on right out of the shower. I don't do that. This waffle material is not gonna dry the body. Body, so I don't dry my body with this, but I do like to put it on at some point, either before or after the shower. Now, speaking of shower, let's talk about that for a second. I like to set the mood in my bathroom. This is a safe haven for me. If you watch my IG stories, you know that I'm in here every single night for at least 30 minutes. It's just my spot to be, man. I just love it. Comment below and let me know if you have a spot in your house that you just love to be in every day. It just calms you and soothes you. <sighs> I'll explain to you how I set the mood, okay? Now, when it comes to the shower, as you can see, I have eucalyptus leaves hanging on the shower head. And you can see here, I've rigged it. Like I've shown you my vlogs twice so far. How I rig it on there is nothing too fancy. It just is what it is. No one's looking at it except for me and my husband. It's there and that's all that matters. It smells really good when it's activated by the, the heat of the water that we're using in the shower. And it's just aesthetically pleasing. You know what I'm saying? Even when I can't smell it anymore, I like to look at it 
the greenery just makes me happy, okay? So I like to leave it there. I order it through Eucalyptus Farms. It comes right to my door. Is it once a month or every two weeks? I don't be knowing, but it be here, okay? And I just love that. In the shower also, you'll see the white sponge. It's actually a net. It's called Sapo from Ghana. It's essentially what you would consider, if you're not a Ghanaian or West African, an exfoliating body sponge. We don't call it that. It's just Sapo, but it is, in fact, an exfoliating body sponge. The girl, I grew up exfoliating every single day. So it's not like I exfoliate every two days or once a week. No, it's every shower is an exfoliating shower. <laughs> There's no in between, you know what I'm saying? It is really good. I got a white one recently. My husband went to Ghana. I was like, get me a white one. Cause you know, we normally have all kinds of colors. Girl, the rainbow, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange. It's just all the colors. I'm like, come on, we're doing an aesthetic right now. I need the white. You can easily put it in the washing machine and wash it and then just hang it to dry. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna link below Sapo Body Sponge, which is by a family friend who sells them. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, go ahead and do that. It's just good. It gives you good, clear skin, baby, to just exfoliate and get all of that together on a daily basis. My skin loves it. I'm used to it. We use that starting with babies, okay? So that's just what I'm used to. And as far as body wash is concerned, I've tried the Olay one, which is so good. The retinol one, yo. I try to do what Jackie Adam was talking about and do it every single day. No, ma'am, my skin was so dry. And that just tells you that that stuff is good. The Olay retinol, oh my goodness. Like really, really good. So I used the hydrating one. Smells amazing. Feels really, really good. Let me show you the retinol one. The retinol one is right here. This stuff is good, man. I just, I haven't used it in a while because I got scarred from being so dry. So take it easy when you use this. Once, twice a week would be really good. But see, I exfoliate every day with my sponge. So I don't really go hard with exfoliating body products because again, I exfoliate every single day with my sponge. You see what I'm saying? But that is really, really good. I do love the Dove Deep Conditioning Body Wash. That's what's in the shower right now. So good, value size. We like to use an ample amount when we shower, okay? So just love to use that. So I had mentioned setting the tone for my bathroom because I just, again, it's my sanctuary, if you will. Love lighting a candle. And so there's always one behind me. If you've seen me in my bathroom, if you've seen a candle behind me, there's always one right there. Now, when it comes to the candles, you wanna make sure you have all the accessories. So the wick trimmer that I have is rose gold. You wanna have the rechargeable lighter, which is amazing. I have three of them. They're all over the house because I burn candles all the time, all day, every day. So you wanna trim the wick before you burn the candle again. That way it's not burning with all of this soot all over your house, all over your walls, your ceilings. And it's just burns more beautifully that way. And then you want to just charge the candle lighter whenever it dies. But I mean, I I, I, I burn candles a lot. So I have to charge my, my lighters once a week, but I rotate them. <laughs> like I'll just move it to the other one that's already charged and whatever. So I just figure it out, okay? The candle lighter is something you definitely want to have. What do you say? When you're turning off the candle, when you're putting out the light, don't just blow it and let all the smoke go around. Cover it with the cover. Yes, it's going to make the inside cover of the candle black, but if that bothers you just wipe it, wipe the black stuff off and you're good to go. But don't do the whole blowing thing. I grew up doing that, that's just whack. Go ahead and cover it. It's going, it's going to diffuse or what? it's going to turn off and it's all going to be okay. On my desk here in front of me, in fact, I'm going to link this light. It's a small tripod. In fact, let me get my B-roll and show you. It's a small tripod. This place is not going to look too cute, okay? Because of my setup, that's why. So you have the tripod. It can turn the light to be more cool, more or warm or a mix. So right now I have it on a mix, love that. Love this mirror right here too. It does light up, which is great. I also always have my iPad right here because I watch YouTube videos, news, TV shows, what have you. So this is a must. And then the stand as well, I'll link that. And then I've got this faux plant. And then this this is not very, uh, this place don't look that, that cute, okay? Because I have products that I'm gonna go over with you. But I'm gonna link this marble tray because it's real cute. And I have a space heater because I am always cold. So part of me setting the vibe in here, making sure that it's warm, baby. Like you might think it's sweaty, but I like to be warm at all times. So I have a heater in my office and in here. It's a must. So when I got my candle going, I got my heater on, I got my show on or my muse, my podcast, something. I have a windshield phone mount that I use in the bathroom to put my phone on. And that's how I create IG stories. Well, when I'm talking on the phone, I have it there so that it's off the counter. This area of my bathroom doesn't look 
hot and cute. It's functional. And that's what it's about, being functional on this side, okay? So I'll link those items below. Amazing items in order to set the stage for me to come in here and wind down. What I do on occasion is use my steamer, which you've seen from time, like time and time again. I have two of these. Here's the black one in my bathroom, and I've got a white one with pink detail. Both really great, affordable. You don't need the steamer to be mad expensive to work because what is working? It just needs to steam your face, warm it up, keep it hydrated so that you're uh, when you're putting on your products, your product's gonna penetrate more. The steamer's not gonna open your pores up, honey. They already opened wherever they gotta go, <laughs> okay? It's just going to keep your face hydrated so that when you're applying your products, your products absorb into your skin better. The key is to not let your skin get dry before you begin your skincare routine. And we're not talking about skincare right now, but just the, the steamer, just let you know, because that sets the tone. But make sure that you are not getting fully dressed and then come into your skincare. Your skin is dry by that time, baby. Yes, you're applying products, but they're barely going anywhere. You want, unless you're using a strong retinol, a strong, a strong acid, a strong treatment, but make sure your skin is damp. And that's where the, the steamer comes in or use a set it, like use a facial spray, but I digress, okay? But the steamer is a must. I'll link that below as well. Now, a body product that I love to use to take away the hair on my legs is Nair. I've been using Nair since I was a teenager, honey. Nair needs to sponsor me first of all, but <laughs> that ain't the case today. I love me some Nair. Comment below and let me know if you have used Nair. Did you grow up with Nair? Do you hate Nair? Nair is a chemical hair removal product. It will burn you <laughs> if you don't use it properly or don't use it in the right place. Okay, we're talking about legs right now for Nair. Love to use that, I'm gonna link that too. I also get Brazilian waxes. We talked about that already, right? Your girl gets a wax every single month. As a matter of fact, I'm due on Saturday for a new wax. I love getting waxes. Now, I have talked to people who have gotten laser all around, baby. I do wanna try that. So if you have gotten laser, on your, vag your vaginal area, you know, and like all over, arms, legs, whatever. Comment and let me know what your experience was like. I do know that I need to be choosy about who I go to because I am a melanated, melanated woman, okay? But I do wanna try it. I just don't wanna get laser quite yet. But it is on my list for sure because why not? I deserve it. All right, so when it comes to body care, let's talk about a few things. Okay, so you've seen me talk about this a few times, this Bosha Peptide Youth Restore Firming Body Serum. Really, really good. Now, because I have dry skin, I do follow up after this with a moisturizer. But if you don't have dry skin, you might get away with just using this by itself. It is so good. Like, I like this a whole lot, okay? I also really like this Camille Rose Ginger Vanilla Body conditioner for dry skin, yo. First of all, they sent me one and I was over the moon about it. Ordered three or four more and I I mentioned it to y'all. I don't know, are y'all listening? Camille Rose people? I don't know what happened, but then all of a sudden I got two more in the mail and I was like, oh, okay. And then literally last week I got like two more in the mail. I was like, oh, okay. I think they listening, you know? I think they are listening to the kid and I'm not mad about it. So I have given one or two away cause they're so good. Like wicked rich, okay? Rich, like when I first got it, I was like, what is this? It's empty. That's what I thought. Opened it up so that it was packed to the rim and then touched it and I was like, oh, this is thick, thick. Like. This is thick, like you need to take time. You know how you get ready and you're like rushing to lotion yourself? No, honey, you need time to rub this on your whole body or just use it for your hands, your feet, your elbows, your knees. But this smells so good. You know how much I love fragrance. Just opening and closing it, this thing is laced with fragrance. I know you might be thinking, well, dry skin, fragrance, you really shouldn't be, mm-mm. We've been there, done that. I love fragrance, it makes me happy. So dry skin or not, I don't care. I still fragrance myself, okay? I don't play those games. Now, I will avoid my chest area because that is my problem area for eczema. So I won't put something like this around my chest and my neck for that reason. So what I do put there is this Vanny cream. My dermatologist actually told me to get this and it's a moisturizing cream that is for sensitive skin and it's great for eczema. So I put that on my neck and my chest 
nine out of 10 times. Really thick, really, really good. Another hydrating cream, good for dry skin as well, is this First A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is great. I've used this on my body and also on the face before SPF, great option. If you wanna, if you wanna pick this up, you can use my code in the description box on firstabeauty.com to save some money. Now, a retinol cream to be used at nighttime is this Josie Marin Pro Retinol Whipped Argan Body Butter Baby. It's almost done, okay? This is for nighttime. Whenever you're using any kind of retinol product on the face normally, this one's for the body. Do it at nighttime because it does make your skin a little sensitive. You don't wanna go out into the sun after you apply this, not for the face, this is for the body. This is really good too, girl. Soft skin all around, okay? I also wanna link for you the First Day Beauty Cape. Is it KP Bumpy Racer? Oh my goodness, I'm not butchering the name. It is KP Bumpy Racer. It is so good. It is for the shower on wet skin, rub it onto the areas where you might have these bumps. Like if you see these bumps, it is a buildup of protein, okay? Rub it on, it's gonna exfoliate it and smooth out the area. This has come such a long way. I have not been as diligent with using it as I should. I was at some point, I finished two bottles already. I just need to go like pick up another one. It is so good. Use it for the back of the thighs, the knees, the elbow like I showed you. Whoa, all those bumps, go on honey. Skin, smooth honey like it's a must okay oh i also love this sol de janeiro chiro sa 62 hair and body mist honey child when i tell you fragrance overload if you don't like fragrance stay away from this you love it run toward it quickly it is a strong scent it is a caribbean scent it is a scent that makes you feel like you need to be on the island whichever island of your choice okay honey it is so good wow i have all four of them in these large sizes then i have some of the small sizes this stuff is just amazing there are four different scents this one in particular chirosa 62 has a matching eau de parfum is it this one yeah this is the original one yeah it has a matching eau de parfum god almighty fantastic and speaking of my husband and i have blown through so many of the body creams i have two right here in front of me that are empty empty okay this stuff is so good. It smells fantastic. You can go with either the body cream or the mist. Obviously, if you do both, it's like complete overkill, but do you, you know what I'm saying? You can put the body mist on when you're like wearing a different lotion, an unscented lotion, whatever. Also for the hairs, you got a wig on, baby. You got your weave going, you got your, even your natural hair, whatever. And you wanna just give it a little bit of a spritz. Girl, we ain't doing for breeze. You know what I'm saying? We doing the body mist, the body and the hair mist, okay? So I'm a little more elevated, yeah. Yes, go ahead, get you one. This stuff is so good, man. We have, in the past year, we have blown through at least five of these, okay? It's most, this mostly my husband. I'd be like, excuse me, that stuff's expensive, slow down. And he'd be like, but you'll get more. I'm like, yeah, but see, that's the problem. And speaking of, the small version of this is done, okay? So another empty there, can't even do it. Oh, and this was sent to me in PR. Look at how I dogged out the bottle. I can't believe it. Scent Works, Blushing Pink Bottoms Body Cream. Wow, there's a vanilla one that I have in the bathroom, our guest bathroom. Wow, laced with fragrance, like in a good way for me. Because why? I live for fragrance. I mean, intense, okay? So I finished this one. This is the blushing pink bottoms. I enjoyed it. I more so love the vanilla one because I just love vanilla. But this is a nice, fresh, floral type scent that was really, really, really enjoyable. Now I do have some skincare empties. I know I said we're gonna go over skincare, but I do wanna just put that in the video just to update you on some skincare empties and actually some hair so let's do the hair first now i tried this taraji p henson co-wash a while ago i wasn't a fan of it because it was more stripping than what i do which is washing my hair with conditioner that's what i do that's what i've always done since i've been natural it works for me my hair has grown tremendously if you've been here you know it just is what i do and i know many of you who are natural swear by co-washes so i didn't like the difference but if you are accustomed to a co-wash that does strip like clean your hair in a way where you can feel it but still hydrates it does that make any sense to you then you might enjoy this but because i'm so used to what my hair feels when i do the conditioner wash the co-wash with conditioner washing my hair with conditioner this was too stripping 
two stripping, I say in air quotes, but I wanted to finish it. So I did finish it. So here's that. I also recently conditioned my hair and left it overnight using this IGK product. This is the Legendary Dream Hair Conditioner with Shea Butter and sea, Red Sea Algae. Girl, my hair is so long and thick. I used basically the whole thing. There's this much left. That's not gonna take me anywhere in a second wash. But what I did was put this all over my hair. I mean, I used it a lot. I wanted to really saturate my hair. I left it in overnight. And when I touched it to rinse it out the next day, my God, my hair felt so soft. It felt so, so soft. It was insane. So this is really good, okay? Okay, this is it. I had this in my travel container, but I took it out. So I'm like, I have two of these, I only have one of these. This is actually it. I took it out, whatever. So this is the natural hydrating leave-in conditioner with av avocado and kiwi. This has extreme fragrance in it. It makes me so happy to open and use it. Cause again, like we talked about, I love fragrance any and everywhere. This is laced with fragrance, okay? And it's really hydrating too. So with other conditioners, for instance, like a Cantu one or an Ajwa Beauty or something like that, you put it in the hair and although it's absorbing, it still leaves a white residue, but which will go away once it dries. This one, it's like it doesn't leave a residue. So you're wondering, is it working? Is it there? Did it disappear? What happened to it? But I do think it was working. I enjoyed it. Maybe it was the scent of it. I don't know. But this was really good. Okay. And then some skincare empties. Okay, and it was done. It's a long video, girl. Big yourself up. Comment below because you never know. Random giveaways. You might win. And <laughs> Dermalogica pre-cleanse. Cleansing balm. A must to do before you wash off your makeup. So this is the first step. Like right now, when I finish this, I'm going to wash my face using this first. Activate with some water. Rinse it off. Then go in with your cleanser. Bam, bam, bam. And then you are good to go. Another cleansing balm that I I finished is this one by pharmacy this is the clearly clean makeup melt away cleansing balm same idea although this is in a firm balm texture or consistency whereas this one is a liquid cleansing oil cleansing balm they do the same thing they emulsify they feel really good they feel really luxurious and they get the makeup off okay concentrate on the eyes really well when you're doing the cleansing balms and also with your cleanser make sure you're really rubbing the eyes you may want to go in with a, a makeup remover and a cotton pad to get off any eyeliner and stuff, but you know. Make sure you're taking care of all of that, okay, girl? And then I finished this Fresh Beauty Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask with Advanced Antioxidants. I had a big version of this, but this one was really enjoyable. And then you know that I have been loving the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is actually called the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum by Glow Recipe. Love this, extremely hydrating. I love to apply two layers of any hyaluronic acid and maybe even three if I'm feeling really really dry you can do that this is a hydrating serum that draws in moisture so you do want to go in after it with a moisturizer or if you feel like it another serum put a moisturizer to then seal it in and then maybe even go further with an oil to really seal it in but it's so so hydrating we actually have hyaluronic acid in our bodies hello and then we're adding this onto the face to increase hydration if you've got dry skin or just want to have supple skin okay if if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and comment whatever comments you want to put, right? And then put hashtag big yourself up. You probably be thinking, how do you spell that? Okay, let's pick, let's spell it. B I G Y A S E L F. Big yourself up. U P. Big yourself up. Okay. And then I'm gonna choose from any of you who put that hashtag, and I'm gonna choose a giveaway winner. Yay! Thank you for watching the video. I'm glad that you're here. Shop my links in the description box if you have any interest in any of these products. Comment below and let me know if you have any Bath & Body faves that I did not mention that I should try. Cause you know, I be trying what y'all be saying. So go ahead and let me know in the comments, okay? As always, I'm glad you're here and thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.